Hi Taurus, welcome to your special retrograde um, reading. Now this is past life reading for um, for singles, okay? And if it also resonates with, uh, you know, resonates with the um, for those who's also done singles, then good for you. Let's take a look, Taurus. What are the karmic debts that you need to be aware of? Where is your soulmate? And why is it that there are some things in your life that just keeps on repeating over and over again? Let's take a look. Leaving or travel. Celtic. Wars and battles. Health, love life, persecution, inquisition, Native American. Well, I can pull out uh, three more cards later on if there's anything about your love life. Okay. Looks like you left uh, somebody in the past. Or in a relationship, you are the one who keeps on walking away or having a problem staying committed or staying in a commitment. Okay? Alright, let's take a look. Celtic, you're also very religious, but you're a non practitioner. Oh, you you were brought up by you were brought up by um by your mother believing in, you know, some religious stuff. Or your family is very religious. You're always afraid to love. And in a relationship, you always take a few steps back because of your fears. You have big trust issues. Alright. Yoga. Time to decide, children. Builder. Heart's desire, support. All right. Now in your past life, you left somebody, okay? You decided to take on your own journey and you decided to... Um... You know, to take your own life and lo your own path and, uh, you know, make a decision as to where your life should go. And you don't want anyone else to tell you what to do. You're also very religious or you were raised by a very religious family. But then, during the time of war, um, you have gone through a lot of difficult things. And you were also, you, you were once a volunteer. Okay, now another thing here is if there is a situation in your waking life or even in your current relationship or in, sorry, in your previous relationships, okay, well, current relationships with your family and friends or someone else, you know, if you feel always being so, um, you know, some people call you as a war freak or you have a very bad temper or you get so, you know, irritated easily or something like that. And especially that you hated it when somebody lacks common sense or, you know, you, when someone that you're with is, uh, who cannot really get you, lacks discipline, you know, they feel so, and sometimes you also feel so authoritative and, um, you know, now this is because that you were once, you know, um, you were once a soldier, you were also a volunteer during the war. And there's a part of you who is, you know, who feels so authoritative over others. And uh, sometimes you also stand, you know, like uh, you were trained in the military. And, you know, especially if you're really tall right now, whether you're a man or a woman. Now, you were gifted with a very sharp intuition or you also have the gift of, um, you know, um, uh, being a psychic as well. Or you have that very strong intuition or um, uh, what do you call this instincts 
I also feel like you're also very empath and you can easily read people. Okay. Now the thing here is you've had a lot of health problems in the past. And even now you're very conscious of health. You're very conscious of what you eat. You're very conscious of your body. You're very conscious of, you know, like uh, it's like you keep on researching about what's good, what's not, what's healthy, what's not. You know, it's like you're you have a lot of ideas. But then the thing here is, you don't even know what's really wrong with you. But then you keep on taking some other herbal medicine, some stuff that you that you know that you can you know that you can be better. You're also feeling a little bit insecure and lacks trust in yourself and. You feel like some other people are much better than you and sometimes you feel so awful about yourself, you know? You just need to trust in yourself and you're beautiful as, you know, as how God created you. Your love life is currently, you know, your past life, um, karmic uh, lesson when it comes to your love life. That is the one that's been affecting your relationships right now. You were also accused of some things that you did not really... You know that you did not really commit it. I feel like you were once framed up in your past because you were once a soldier and a volunteer during the war, and I feel like you you hated it when somebody would just say uh, some things that are not you know that doesn't have any basis or that there's no foreground about you know the things that they claim that they know about you, and you hated it. You were also once lived as a Native American, okay? So, hmm. It's like you're a runaway. What is your... Let's pull the three more cards. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there we go. Spouse. Now, you also have some talent in writing, okay? You have a very creative mind. Your spouse, and you lived in a farm. Now, I feel like you've hated the, uh, you know, the idea of simple kind of living. And uh, I feel like you died of, uh, you know, bad health or sickness. And um, I don't really feel like you're very close to... You know, to there's a part of you that who's very afraid of animals, and there's a part of you who just, you know, who sees themselves living in a farm or living in a country living, but then you feel like, nope, I can't really live here. It's too boring. You know, there's a part of it, you keep on going back and forth, back and forth. You wanted to visit or you want to own one, but you don't want to live in it. Okay, and I also feel like this is the reason why you run away or you took your, you know, your own journey or your own destiny to your own hands. So, the main lesson here is you left your spouse because of a choice or because of a situation that you didn't, you do not wish to be a part of. All right, so if you have some commitment issues right now, it is because of this. Okay. And your soulmate is a writer who's a very creative mind, or they love writing, or they are a journalist. Uh, well, they could also be a blogger. And I feel like they're an earth sign. Okay. And they have a very simple kind of living mindset but you don't want to be a part of it. Although they came from a good family and they are also very hardworking individuals. So most likely that your soulmate is, you know, they have a different disposition to what you have or to your own disposition in life or to your own mindset, okay? So the two of you will be to oppose to each other that even though you're both earth signs that even though the two of you have you know same commonalities and stuff like that but you feel like nah, you know that's not really my type or that's not really my idea of living or you know spending the rest of my life until i get old or something like that but this is the right one for you and this is the one that you will be meeting the time that you met should be around fall or the end of summer and you got married during the start of summer or the end of spring okay now 
It's safe for you to love, pay attention to the red flags. Trust, this could be the one. You know, the thing here is you ended up with somebody that is already the right one for you, but you have a lot of doubts to yourself. You have a lot of doubts like, uh, okay, is this really who I'm destined to? Like, you're too ambitious. You have a lot of things in mind. You want to do a lot of things at once, and you want to still go some places. And you feel like, no, life has so much to offer for me. I still wanted to see this. I still wanted to do this and that, you know, and stuff like that. So it's like you are all over the place. Okay, your, prior your, your priorities are too sporadic. So, I feel like, you know, this is the reason why you have some commitment issues at this point. And you're, you're good in wooing someone. You're good in getting the attention of somebody. You're, um, some people or some of the relationships that you got involved with, they really value you. They want to make you stay. They want to marry you. They want to take care of you. But then, you know, when you when things get bored for you, or sorry, when things get boring for you or when you get bored in a situation, you tend to run away. Okay? It is because that there is a certain fear inside of you that you feel like you don't really belong there yet. Okay, now the karmic lesson here is you need to be a little bit more contented. And if you feel like life has so much to offer to you, or there is so much to learn, to see, to have, try to have it with someone or share your life with someone. Okay, instead of taking your own journey, and then later on you will just regret that you should have, you know, spent it with someone who really value you. Because right now you keep on looking back into the past and you keep on thinking about that one particular person who's been your one true love or has been your first love or first relationship. And you're living your life full of regrets. Okay? Now, you you're... you're in a relationship you also keep you keep on looking for something that isn't there because you know the pay it's like you're always looking for the red flags in a relationship you have big trust issues but the one that you were once with that is you know that is the right one for you you just need to be a little bit more optimistic or positive and this person lives in another place not in your you know not within your city or not within your own state and you just need to give a relationship to grow, to flourish, get to know each other. It's not like an instant relationship that when you're with someone, they can just read your mind and they can just get whatever you want. And then you feel like, okay, if you're truly my soulmate, then read my mind. Okay. Those are very ridiculous expectations in a relationship. It takes time for, for real love, okay, to take shape and to be in the right place. At least when it, when the love is real and when the relationship is real, it will be full of difficulties and struggles. And that is how it will make you stronger. Okay? So your idea about a relationship and your idea about a soulmate is actually not quite, you know, into the reality. Or it's not really practical. And you should share your feelings. You should open up your heart instead of living in your fear or living in some sort of fantasies or standardizations or it's like, oh, it should be like this. It should be like that. Oh, okay. You don't fit in this. Okay. You don't really tick the box. Bye. So it's not like that. You need to let a person or a relationship grow and you need to grow together. Okay. Um, you know, if a relationship is also full of adventures, excitement, thrill, and, you know, there's no familiarity yet, uh, sorry, there's no familiarity yet, then it is much more exciting to be in. And instead of, you know, like, uh, you already know the other person's weakness, you already know their favorite food, their favorite color, you know, or whatever makes them happy or whatever makes them so sullen or or sick or sad or angry or something like that then there's no excitement excitement sorry there's no excitement anymore and that is how a relationship gets boring now what are you supposed to become and what are you supposed to be in is your life path as i've said that you're very concerned about your health Okay, you're you're more of an OCD as well, and um, you are very concerned about your health, your body, the shape of your body as well. You're so afraid of getting fat, and you're too concerned about the things that you eat, 
you know the medicines they it's like most likely that you always rely on supplements but you believe more in herbal stuff now you need to rearrange your chakra okay because your heart and your crown is blocked that's why there are some things that cannot really go through and time is off the essence for you you also need to start thinking about having children or you also need to, to start paying attention to your children because here you just winded up your own life and your own destiny but you did not really think about how your spouse will feel or you know well i did not really see any children but i feel like you did not have any children in the past or you feel like you can't stand having a children or having some child and the right yeah well you have some talents in and skills in building architecture engineer or real estate investing in real estate or designs interior designing or uh, landscaping or stuff like that but you love to build okay it's like you this is what also drives you you need to have something that you can do within your hands or that you can you can roam or go around or take a trip here and there it bores you to death if you would just sit in one corner in one cubicle or in your desk all day eight hours a day okay you're looking for something that is even more challenging that will require your mind your body your heart and everything else okay to work follow your heart's desires support well you may also work in the field of medicine paramedics as well since that you are very concerned about your health in fact that you're almost a health freak so uh this you can also take the um you know you, you can also have that uh, um what do you call this career in the field of nursing doctor uh, sorry yeah being a doctor or surgeon or something like that and you also because you, you love reading books and you, you're full of knowledge you're full of wisdom so when other people wants to hear some advice or some of your opinions especially in a meeting uh they really hear your voice and they really want to you know hear more of your inputs and you need to practice more of your skills okay because i feel like you do have some knack or some you know talent in writing so why don't you try practice it more for you to ease down your boredom because you get so bored easily and you're very impatient right anyway that's it for you for this month and for this retrograde taurus if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you